I have some pretty big news as Spike Chunsoft is adding another licensed wrestling company, another group of licensed wrestlers into the official mix of Fire Pro Wrestling World, and that company is Stardom. Stardom is a Joshi professional wrestling company over in Japan. Joshi basically just means women's wrestling, so it's an all-women's federation. If you would like to check out Stardom or learn a little bit more or maybe even get into Stardom, I can help you do that because I made a beginner's guide on my channel that you can also check out. I'll put a link down in the description below. It'll pretty much get you up to date on everything you would need to know about Stardom. I mean, from day zero to right now. So you can go check that video out if you want to learn more about Stardom. Or you can check out Big Fight Field, my Joshi Pro Wrestling podcast that can be found on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, whatever the case may be. Literally any podcast place that you could want to listen to it, it probably is on there. It's called Big Fight Field, a Joshi Pro Wrestling podcast. I will also include a link down in the description below for that. And that's more so once you get into Joshi, once you get into Stardom a little bit more, uh, the podcast, you know, would probably resonate a little better with you once you kind of get into the door which is what the beginner video is for now this hasn't been officially confirmed by spike nor stardom yet uh, I, air quotations because i mean if you put two and two together obviously that's kind of what's happening here i don't know maybe not maybe all the stardom wrestlers are in the studio recording something for arisa's new unlimited dream navigator album i don't Maybe I don't know. But if I were a betting man, I would probably bet that they are recording lines for a new Fire Pro DLC as, dun dun, you can check the Steam database, which I'll pull up right now so you guys can see it. And it's a website that shows you all the stuff that companies add into Steam as they're uh, 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 pretty much updating DLC or uh, doing things for the game like that, updates in general, basically. And Fire Pro has added a new DLC into the mix. It's unnamed and it hasn't been released yet. And, uh, well, in the Stardom tweet here from the official Stardom channel, it said that they're recording something for a famous game that will be released this summer as, you know, real names. So that basically means as Stardom, as the Stardom wrestlers, it's, it's going to be their actual names and things like that. And it kind of coincides with Fire Pro adding this new downloadable content uh, app ID thing into the Steam database. So I'm just saying two and two together. Things add up. Stardom posted pictures with a bunch of the girls, so there's a bunch of different ones. There was Arisa and Utami and Momo, and they had Kagetsu and, and Mayu and Starlight Kido, <laughs> and even Jungle Kiona. I love how some of them just came as they were. I'm sure, I don't even know if Rossi was just like, hey, just come in and record these lines or what the case may be, but some of them came in like full gear. Like, I, it's, it's, I clicked in the photos and I was like, Okay, so like there's Arisa and Utami, and they, oh, and there's Momo full geared out in a random recording studio. And then I'm going with them, oh, my God, so am I? I'm like, oh, and Starlight Kid and Jungle Kiona also have their full gear on. Uh, it was just a funny little thing that I noticed. That, as you can see, you could tell who took it very, very serious. Now, if you want to get a jump start and start using Stardom characters before the official DLC drops, I do have a recommendation for you guys if you're on PC and you're looking for Stardom wrestlers to download for Fire Pro and use them in your game. You should check out a guy named New nuclear bummer you can find him just by searching you could literally search like most of the the stardom women you can look up momo or utami or whatever the case may be and you'll probably find nuclear bummer and once you find him you can go and then see all the rest of his creations he has a bunch of just fantastic ones the, the attention to detail is just so good so if you want to use them before this official release comes out as we're not too sure of the release date I mean, it says here that it's going to be released in the summer. I don't know what that means. That could mean the end of August. I don't I don't really know a date yet. I assume that it will come out soon, especially since Stardom was allowed to, you know, post about it. But if you want to download before, like I said, Nuclear Bummer is fantastic. The Avenger 3 also has some great characters. If uh, Nuclear Bummer has some that, you know, he doesn't have or vice versa, or whatever the case may be. But I'm super excited for this, man. I'm, I'm I actually am like super, super dumb excited for this. Uh, I just want to get these characters right now. I wish they would just release right now but i'm sure spike's got to put a little mix on hopefully what happens is not what happened with the new japan stuff where they had to delay it for you know x amount of time it seems to happen to a lot of the fire pro dlc is it was like oh it's coming out then and then it gets delayed like the fire promoter stuff got delayed <sighs> really bad so i'm hoping that this doesn't get delayed and it's just getting out we also don't know if it's gonna be just the characters or if they're gonna do some sort of uh, DLC story. So I'm not too sure what they have planned for that. Um, you know, with the junior heavyweight stuff, they gave us a story. Uh, with the New Japan collaboration, they gave us the story. Um, the fire promoter, we, that was a whole different, that was just a whole crazy thing. 
So I'm not sure if they're just gonna do Here's Stardom Wrestlers or if they're gonna do a story, which would be pretty neat if we got like a women's story with all the Stardom characters and going through the mix with Stardom. And they have like a bunch of championships and a bunch of things you can do, you know, the Five Star Grand Prix and the Cinderella Tournament. And there's a ton of stuff that would be really fun to do. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be added into the mix, but that would be pretty neat. If not, that's okay too. I just want the I just want the official characters, especially if they're gonna have uh, uh, voice link stuff. I think that would be pretty damn neat. One of the things I'm also not too sure about is if they're gonna add the official theme songs of all the wrestlers. Uh, it, as we've seen in the past with Fire Pro, they didn't add all the themes for all the wrestlers from New Japan as licensing is just sort of an issue. And I don't know if that's gonna be an issue with uh, the Stardom wrestlers either. I mean, there's some that are like, okay, yeah, they could obviously get that. Like, you know, you could get Arisa because she just makes her own music. So <laughs> I'm sure like she would love to put a limited dream navigator into the game. I'm sure she would love to just, you know, give them the rights for that. but. People like uh, Hannah, which is, uh, you know, an actual licensed song, or um, e e or Natsu. It's just like, these songs are, yeah, I don't, I don't think you can put Mr. Saxo beat in the game, which is, I'm, I, I'm going to, but they can't do that, you know what I mean? So it's just, I don't know. It's just something that I've been thinking about since I saw the update. I'm like, I wonder what theme songs are actually going to be able to get the license to. So all in all, this is very exciting. I'm super excited to get into the mix. I still play Fire Pro a ton. Like, I seriously just sometimes throw it up on my secondary screen and just watch matches. <laughs> just whenever I'm doing things or getting stuff done around the house, I just have it up there just looking at matches. So. Like I said, if you want to check out Stardom, if you've never been into it, lit I'm telling you, like, literally from day zero, if you have just heard of Stardom right now in this video, the beginner guide is perfect for you. It will literally lay everything out. In the beginner guide, there's a Google Doc or a Google Sheet that I made that goes through everything, uh, enunciations, uh, theme songs, finishers, recommended matches, where to start, uh, when to start, how to get into it. I mean, I literally laid everything out in that beginner guide, and I think it's fantastic for people that are looking to get into stardom. Uh, and then, of course, once you get into stardom, or maybe, you know, you're already into stardom, or whatever the case may be, you can check out my podcast, Big Fight Feel, which you can see down in the uh, description below. I'm going to get my cheap plugs. You are going to let me get my cheap plugs. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I hope that you guys are also excited for the stardom stuff for Fire Pro. I have a feeling I will be using a lot of it in upcoming videos, so be prepared for that. Remember guys, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. I'd love to have you guys around the team. Just join. I know you want to be here. I want you here. Let's make it happen. And I will catch you guys next time when I upload something. So have a good day, everybody. See you.